Hey there, Louis Yacobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to share a file in a team with individuals outside of that team. Now, what exactly do I mean by sharing files with individuals outside of a team? Well, you may recall that files that are stored in a channel of a team are only accessible to those members of a team. Okay, so in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to share files that are stored in the channel of a team with individuals who are not a member of that team. Now, what might be a good example of where you want to store a file in the channel of a team and you want to extend access to that file outside of your team? Well, consider the example of somebody working in the finance department of an organization and perhaps they're putting together a procurement policy that applies to all of the organization so they would create that document collaboratively with their finance colleagues in their finance team once that document is ready for broad distribution they may want to extend out access to the entire organization so that the entire organization can review that document, but they don't want to invite the entire organization into their finance team. That's a good example of where you may want to extend out access to a particular file or even a folder, again, without having to invite everybody into your team. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to click into my finance team and I am going to click on manage team. Now I'm just doing this to show you who is a member of this team. So you can see that I'm the owner of the team and that there are only two members, Diego and Lynn. Now to actually share files outside of your team, you want to click into the channel that your file exists in. So in this case, I'm clicking into my general channel and then you wanna click on the files tab. Now, when you are in the files tab, you are gonna see here this button that says open in SharePoint. You wanna go ahead and click on that. And just as a bit of a refresher, so files that are stored in a team are actually being stored in a SharePoint online document library that is created when the team is created. Okay, so you can see here the SharePoint online document library that has the same files that were displayed in my team here. Okay. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to find the particular file or folder that you want to share outside of your team. In this case, I want to share my Q1 2021 earnings report outside of the team. Now to do this, you want to click on this little arrow icon. This is going to bring up the send a link menu. Okay, now this menu is where you come to share files or folders in a team with users outside of it. Now let's just take a quick look at this menu. So what you want to do here is you wanna click on this option. Okay, and this is going to bring up the link settings. And this is where you specify how you want to share this file and with who you want to share this file. So by default, the first option here is going to be selected. And what this is, is this says share this file or this folder with people in my Microsoft 365 environment or with anyone in my organization. So here this reads, share it with people in Solution Scope 01. That's the name of my organization. Okay, so that will read the name of your organization. The next option is to share a link to this file or folder with people who already have access. So this might be team members and maybe you just want to point them to a specific file or folder in your team. So that's an example of where you might use that option. And the last option is to share a file or folder with specific people, okay? Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna review the general settings here. So now you'll notice that as I toggle between these two different options, people in my organization and specific people, I have the option to allow editing. Now, what exactly does this mean? Well, if I check this, when I share a file or I share a folder, that means anybody with that link to that file or that folder is going to be able to edit the documents that are in the folder or the particular file that you're sharing. Okay, if I turn this off, essentially what this means is they'll only have read access. Okay, so they'll only be able to view the file. Now you'll also notice that when I turn this off, I also have the ability to toggle on and off block download. If I turn this off, this is actually gonna go a step further and restrict people from being able to download files. Okay, so that means the only way they'll be able to access the file uh, or multiple files is if they view it in a browser. 
Okay, so something that you want to keep in mind. Now, whether you're sharing with specific people or with anyone in your organization, you want to select your options here. Okay, and then you wanna go ahead and click apply. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to now search for specific people. Okay, now if you're sharing only with people in your organization, and you can see here it says, uh, only people in my organization with the link can view only. So I can go and start typing a name here and I can actually just send a link right from this SharePoint online interface to that particular individual. Okay, I can even include a message. Okay, uh, and if I go ahead and click send, this is actually going to fire an email notification to this individual. Now, the other thing to note is you'll notice this little pencil icon. So because this has a line through a pencil, that means that this person can only view. Now, if I click on this button, I can actually switch it again to allow this person to edit files. Okay, so something else that you want to keep in mind. Now, if you don't want to send an email notification, uh, if you don't want to use that as the mechanism to share the file or the particular folder in your team, the other option is to click on the copy link button. Okay, and this is going to allow you to generate a link to that file that you can then either share in a channel post or a chat message. Okay, uh, and the last option to share is to click on the Outlook button, which is going to allow you to create a shareable link and it's going to punch out into Microsoft Outlook. And you can see here that we'll actually just compose a new email and share the link in that email. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to share this file with my colleague, Joni. Okay, and I am going to give read only permission. So Joni will only be able to view this document and I'm going to copy a link. Okay, uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to Joni in a Teams chat message. And I am just going to nest my link here to the file in the message to keep it clean. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send this to Joni. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm actually going to impersonate Joni so that we can actually see what Joni would experience when looking at this file. So you can see here, I'm logged into the Teams web application, impersonating my colleagues Joni, and you can see here the message. Now I'm gonna click on this link and it's gonna open this file in my browser. So you can see here that I am only able to view this file as I impersonate Joni, and you can even see the prompt that says read only. You don't have permission to edit this file. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to do the same thing with a folder. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to share a link to this income statement folder with Joni. And I'm gonna send this as a Teams message. Okay, and again, I'm going to impersonate my colleague Joni here. And if I click into this link, you can see here that Joni has access to the folder. There are no files in it. And if I click on the word general, this is gonna bring me back into the general channel of that team. And you'll notice that Joni can only see the income statement and the PowerPoint file shared with her. She can't see anything else in that team. And if I click back into the SharePoint view of that team, I can see everything that is stored in that team. Whereas again, Joni can only see those elements shared with her. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you, one of the tricky parts of sharing files outside of your team is that it's up to you as the person sharing the content to manage access, okay? The good thing about storing files in Teams and sharing within the context of a team is the permissions are managed by your membership in the team. So you're either an owner or a member and you have access to files in public channels uh, or standard channels, or you don't have access to files in private channels if you're not a member of that channel. When you're sharing files with users outside of your team and you want to manage access, you want to click on the show actions button and you want to click on manage access. And what this is going to do is this is going to show you a list of the individuals or the links that you've generated to share a file outside of your team. So you can see here, uh, direct access and there are groups. So finance team owners, finance team visitors, finance team members, these correspond to the permission groups that are part of your team in Microsoft Teams. And you can see here links that are giving access, okay? Uh, and I can easily change or remove access by clicking on a link and pressing the X here. 
okay? And this is going to ask me to confirm that I actually want to delete this link and remove uh, anybody who has access to this link's permission to view a particular file or file or folder. Okay, well, that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to share files that are stored in a team in Microsoft Teams with users outside of that team. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like it. Please drop a comment below. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.